Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Tool Show with me, Master Dan, the Journeyman Shooter. And today, I'd like to have another one of our coffee time segments. Sorry, I'm hopping over a fence here. I was gonna have one of our another coffee time segments where we do our wake up and I do one of my practice talks here so I can get used to talking to everybody. And it's just like you're having a coffee break with a master level electrician. So there you go, There, that's your present for the day. Now, wonder, one thing I was wondering what we should talk about today, I was trying to set up uh, what I should talk about, what could be coming up, and I know lately I've seen a lot of people freaking out on the roads because everybody's stressed out, and the road rage thing is what people do when they get all stressed out on the roads, and what I was wondering about that is why, why people get so stressed out sometimes. It's pretty tough, like, because uh, everybody's just got their own issues going on and a whole bunch of stuff. And, but the, that's called uh, road rage, and that's when you get into a, some kind of fit of rage when you're on the road and you're driving and operating a vehicle, which is a dangerous thing because that's a weapon in itself, and you have to respect that, and it's a tool that you use, and you got to be smart. You can't just kind of, you can't do anything dangerous like that. And As you can see, it's a beautiful morning, and, but especially with a car, when you're raging out against another vehicle, that means you're raging against the machine, and where's that going to get you? Just gorilla radio, I guess, is all you're going to be able to do for the rest of your life. So, no, I just kidding. That's a, an old song joke, but it doesn't really work out in this situation. But so road rage, it's very bad. And I was wondering what's a great story to kind of talk about that kind of thing and get the idea of how you can't be doing this because it's not a good idea. It's going to get you in a lot of trouble. It's going to cause a lot of regret in your life. You'll lose a lot because people won't stay with somebody that's angry all the time. They want to be around positive people. So you got to you got to be positive. But now the story of George Washington. I don't know if everybody's heard this story, but George Washington was the first United States president and he was an interesting character and uh, as a young kid he had an axe and uh, he went outside and he cut down this cherry tree and this is one of his most famous stories is the George Washington and his axe and he went out and cut down his dad's favorite cherry tree and his dad found out and his dad came up to him and said George why did you cut down the cherry tree and George said dad I cannot tell a lie it was the cat and he blamed it on the cat. <laughs> Not just good. He didn't blame it on the cat. It was, uh, it was him, and he took responsibility for it. And that was one of the parts. He was honest about it, and he did something good. And honesty is great. The truth will set you free. It's part of uh, life. You got to know to be honest. You have to be a man of your word, a person, woman of your word, somebody that's honest and. The people will trust you that's what it is you get no trust if you're not honest to people and you're gonna get nowhere in life if you're not honest with people and so you got to kind of make sure you're doing the right things and being smart but uh, George Washington and his axe well one time I was working we were working at this job site where there was a double merge lane in when you pulled into the job site because there was construction all around us and that's what we did and uh, so there was a double pull in merge lane I guess and we were pulling in there and like a whole bunch of the guys didn't believe they'd ever have to let anybody else merge in because there's construction coming up. It was, I don't know, I think they just thought they had the entitled right to kind of do whatever they wanted there. And so like a few times that caused major fights and road rage incidents right outside of jo like the job we're working where the main offices are right there and they saw everything. So usually the guys were fired that day, but it just kept happening over and over again. And there was one day especially where it hit like a climax because this one guy, He'd obviously had enough and he picked the wrong day with him but they he wouldn't let the guy merge and the guy finally cut him off and he got so upset that the guy in front of him stopped and he got out of the car and pulled out his axe and he pulled this axe on the guy and then it turned into somebody behind him recorded that and it got on YouTube before we were even at work basically and then a few hours later it was taken down because the work company found out about it and they made the guy take it offline because it was uh, he was in a company vehicle and that's another thing when when you're driving a company vehicle you represent that company and especially if there's a company vehicle phone number on there you have to be especially careful because people will call that number and they'll tell them exactly what you're doing why you're being a fool out on the roads in the company vehicle that you represent because that's what it is you represent your team even no matter where you are if you're driving down the road on the weekend and you're doing something stupid that you shouldn't be and you, that you represent the team if you get caught on camera doing something and that's it cameras are everywhere nowadays so even if you do get road raging you're gonna get in a lot more trouble because it's caught on camera somewhere somebody's got a cell phone or a dashboard camera and good luck trying to get 
get out of that one because you can't you can't uh, dispute tape, I guess. Unless, you, well, no, you can't. I'm not going to give you any kind of excuses on how to <laughs> get out of something stupid, but there's ways, but you just got to be smart and don't do it. Avoid it. It's just a lot of stresses that you don't need and that you're not going to, that's not going to actually get you anywhere. It's, you can see there's a beautiful sunrise on the Rockies in the background there, and I just love this area up here. It's such a nice spot in Scotsman's Hill here in Calgary, and it's a beautiful place to kind of come check out if you're ever here. The, great for the stampede, so it's awesome some but not to, to promote the city when there's uh, road rage incidents because uh, well, that's it there's road rage everywhere I know my mom she one of the most like the stories that I'll remember most that she told me when I was learning to drive and everything about getting into arguments with people while you're driving is you don't need it because like there's a lot of crazy people out there especially on the roads and we grew up right next to the United States and there's a lot more crazy people in the United States too because they have especially Michigan it's an open carry gun state where you can carry a gun on you at any time so any of these guys that you're driving next to could likely have a gun at any time and I remember I think it was my mom was in Florida or Texas but they were with my uncle Scott it was my dad my mom and we called him uncle Scott but he was uh, he's actually a really interesting character he worked at a factory with my dad and they became really good friends and he'd had enough of the factory life so he gave it up and joined the circus and moved to Florida and he ended up uh, becoming the like he was the snake man for many years and he lent out his snakes to Jake the snake and I think he's even flown on a plane with his snakes many times too which means he had snakes on the plane which uh, is pretty crazy could you imagine but yeah Jake the snake borrowed one of his snakes and I remember going to see him a bunch of times and he ended up moving all the way up the ranks of the the circus to the ringling master or the ringmaster for uh, I think it was ringling brothers but I'm not affiliated with Barnum Bailey it was one of those guys I'm not affiliated with any of them so they're all good circuses if they're still around I don't know how long they're gonna be but that's good though it's uh, but yeah he became the ringmaster for them and he was an awesome guy but they were all driving in uh, I think it was Florida or Texas or something something and he lived in Florida but they were going for some kind of I don't know it was a vacation and they were driving and somebody cut him off and uh, they came and my dad were like pretty upset about it because it was a major cut off and it almost caused a giant accident so they sped up beside and were kind of yelling at the car and that's when the guy pulled out a gigantic gun and pointed it at him and my mom said he, she thought they were gonna shoot at him and it's very serious you can't be doing that because who knows luckily they nothing came from it and the guy just kind of drove off off and they stopped real quick and got out of there but it's a life lesson that I won't forget because especially yeah there could be anybody at any time if you pick the wrong person on the wrong day it's a that's a not something you want to be messing with it's just not smart at all because I remember like I was driving across the states one time too because I've driven back and forth a few times for just because I lived in Ontario and I it was quicker to cross through the states and come back out here so I was driving back and forth a few times and I'll always remember the one time I pulled over because I seen these these guys pulled over on the side of the road and I thought something was wrong so I was gonna offer my help and I think I was somewhere in the northern United States which was like it's kind of dangerous up there because that's where a lot of criminals go to hide and nothing wrong with like uh, I don't know if you've gotten out of jail and you have to go somewhere to get away from the past but the, there's a lot of dangerous people up there in the northern United States and I remember stopping because I saw this car was pulled over and I didn't know what was going on I thought somebody maybe was injured or something and so I ended up stopping to offer my assistance and I seen there was four guys standing around a giant like sign in the middle of the road and one of the guys had a big giant shovel or shovel and he was just hitting the sign as many times as he could until the sign fell over and then he just started hitting the sign on the ground with this shovel and I had no idea what was going on but instead of offering my help I figured that's probably one of those days where he let that guy just rage out and get out of there and move on to something better and actually survive and live another day because that's the goal of everybody you just want to keep living and you want to live forever that's part of what everybody's kind of striving for and but you just got to kind of keep going and not avoid yeah not put yourself in that kind of situation because it's it's easy to rage out and it freak out and it feels a lot really good sometimes probably and that's why you got to go out into the woods and do that with like an axe or and cut down a small tree that's not dangerous or do some carving or something cool like you got to find an outlet for your rage because you can't just let it all build up it's just like the pressure story if you let that pressure build up eventually it's just going to explode and you're going to be in some trouble so you want to find an outlet for the rage and that means breathing 
breathing deep, finding some good music to put on the radio. Don't listen to the heavy, heavy stuff while you're driving in rush hour traffic because that's not going to help your situation. You're not going anywhere any faster. So why not put on something that's relaxing, something that's cool, but uh, yeah, something that's easy going. Something will get you pumped up for that night and instead of just sitting there and bummed out and angry you're not going anywhere because yeah you can't change your situation and especially when you're driving a vehicle that's a weapon you could go to prison for many many years if you're not using that vehicle properly or just keeping it yeah going properly because yeah that's what it is you have to respect the laws of the road and one of them is being a respectful driver and actually respecting other people around you because you can't yeah you just can't take out your problems on other people it's it's part of life you just got to find an outlet for that pressure outlet for that steam and you're going to be living good so that's about it for tool show all i wanted to talk about today was yeah basically avoiding the rage and trying to just relax <laughs> so for tool show master dan the journeyman shooter get out there drive slow and enjoy your life